What's happening? Welcome everybody. Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. We are inside of Unreal Engine 5 working on my project here. And I was doing some uh, optimizations. As you can see here, my video memory has been exhausted. Always shows that. But normally this number is like 2,500 and it's down by over a thousand. And it's because what I've been doing is uh, doing some changes to things. I've been also doing some uh, converting some actors to level instances and I wanted to show you guys that right quick um, before I continue I wanted to thank all of the people who have subscribed since the last video man I appreciate you guys so much man we are right at the 900 mark pretty much so feeling blessed feeling blessed let's go ahead and go in all right and um, basically these are buildings that I had uh, moved from unreal engine 5.1 i had purchased some assets and they were made in 5.1 so i couldn't do anything with them uh in 5.0 without having to export them and then i rebuilt all of the blueprints um i just found a good workflow and i was able to get it done relatively fast and i accidentally deleted the whole damn project and i had to do it again so i was not happy man but um i got a brand new uh another larger hard drive uh, ssd um i just need to make more room uh, for backing up and things like that so let's go ahead and go in guys um this is the first thing that i'm going to show you guys is that these are blueprints so this is the building i'm going to work on that i am working on and this is the actual blueprint um and this is just the number on the map according to when i dragged it in so we're just going to go ahead and the first thing that you're going to want to do is we are going to edit whatever asset you're trying to convert so if you have an asset like this that is made up of multiple mesh um as these are you'll see this is all mesh that make this up all right and we are going to go ahead and just copy <clears throat> excuse me all of these everything that's on your blueprint that you can copy all right <clears throat> so we're going to copy all these mesh all right and the next thing we're going to do is you're going to want to go in and you're going to want to create a blueprint and i already made one guys but i'll go through it with you a little bit here i made this little template very simple to make guys all you're going to do is right click you're going to go to the blueprint class you're going to want to select an actor you select it boom you name it what you want to name it like I, I'm just going to leave this one as new blueprint, but you can name it what you want to name it. And once you have it, boom, you have your blueprint with a default scene root. All right. And the thing is, guys, is you can keep reusing that. I'm going to delete this one because I already have one. Um, I named mine uh, BP LISM building template and the LISM is for level instance static mesh. All right. So that's what the name is. That's what I named it. You can name yours, whatever you want. But what you want to do is you want to drag this instance in here where you want to drag this blueprint into your scene. And then you want to right click on your default scene root and then paste all of the assets that you copied from the building that you're trying to copy. Now, once you paste them, you'll notice that your uh, marker is still here but everything vanishes. You gotta go to the center of your map and you will find your asset at the center of the map. So my center of the map is right here and boom, look at that. We got an asset there, exactly the same. Everything about it is the same, all right? So the next step you wanna do, and this is quick guys, um, you wanna right click on this and you wanna go down to level. Now you can create a level instance I tried that and it wasn't doing what I needed to do right now. Um, so this is what worked better for me for what I'm doing is create a packed level actor. All right. So once you press this, it's going to ask you where you want your pivot point. I usually just leave it. You can, you know, make it the center of the actor. You could pick a specific actor. If you click this and you go down, it'll let you pick a specific actor. Um, I usually just keep it on center with the Z minimum, which means it's going to find the lowest point in the Z axis in the center, and it's going to make that be your pivot point. All right, after that, you just press OK, 
Now it's going to ask you to save the map because basically these mesh are being uh, referenced from a map and you can go to that map and re-edit them or you can, uh, there's a lot of things you can do. Um, but right now we're just interested in making these uh, level instances and copying these uh, mesh so that we can uh, maybe take our call count down a bit. All right, our draw call count. So I'm gonna go ahead and just highlight the building here. So which one was I working on? Um, boop, 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 boop. All right, it was number eight. So we're gonna go ahead and name this building eight. So I will just go in and change this to an eight. And then it's gonna make you save the level and then it's gonna come back and ask you to save the actual blueprint. Nice thing is it names that already for you, nice and neat. So I got a folder, I separated them. You can save them in the same folder if you want. Um, I have a separate folder called building instances. I've been saving them in there and you just press save. It's gonna say that it's unloading the level and you're gonna see some changes happen. Um, it'll take a few moments to do this. And then you should have your new actor. Mine just moved down more. But now you should be able to take that actor and move it around. And what I do is normally I just delete this one because I'm gonna bring the actor in again because I wanna compare it to the actor that I was trying to copy, which is here using building eight, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and drag in my new building eight right here, and if you look, they are pretty much identical, okay? Except for now, you'll notice that this one says instanced static mesh, see? All right, so every time I put one of these out now, it'll be a lot less uh, heavy on my system. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. And now all I'm gonna do, the way I do it, my smart way of doing it, is going to be, let me delete this one. It's just like acting like it doesn't wanna delete it for some reason. Okay, there it goes, wow took forever. Now you want to make sure before you do anything else to template, I try to make sure that the template is not uh, on the map anymore. It normally removes it once you're done. If you delete the, once you're done, it deletes that automatically and you can just reuse that blueprint. I'll show you that in a second. But now what you want to do is find every instance of that. So I'm just going to put building eight in here and we'll find the only use of it is here and then you'll see uh bp building eight which is using building four so this is the only one using it so all we got to do is right click here put replace actor with the one we just dragged in and you have to drag a copy in for that to happen all right, guys, that's why I deleted it. And then you saw me drag it back in. So then I could just find any other instances, which this is the only one I have. And now we have a instanced version of that building that we can clone, copy, move. We can go and edit it also in its own little map. So that's really nice. Um, go ahead and save all. I usually build <clears throat> once I'm done. I actually have this on medium and I got a, oh, a tree look like it was floating. It's just because I got the settings on medium so that I can move around faster. Um, that's why it doesn't look as the quality doesn't look as good as it normally does when you see me playing. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get another building now, guys. And I've already done most of the really tall, really complex buildings, but I do still have a few to do here. We'll, we'll just hit this one. This is building two. All right, and as you can see, I have two units using building two. So we'll just go over it one more time so you guys can see it in action again, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab my template. All right, and that's just under my blueprints. And I'm just gonna grab my template and I'm gonna bring it in, all right? And then we're gonna go to the building that we wanna turn into an instanced uh, 
static mesh here. All right. And then once again, I'm going to just turn on a viewport. It just makes it easy to uh, see that you actually highlighted everything. So turn on the viewport, go ahead and select everything, right click, copy. You could actually close this window, but I usually keep it for referencing in case I start uh, forgetting what I was working on. All right. And then what you want to do is you want to go back to your um, and that's why I did it the other way I did it to drag the uh, blueprint in second because now you got to go back and hunt for it but L I S M and it's right here it should just pop right up and then we're just gonna right click on the default scene root just make sure it's there that's what works Boom, you're going to see it disappear, but you're going to see your little dot still there. Remember, you just got to go to the center of your map. Boom, there it is. Whole building looking all perfect. All right. Now, once again, we're going to right click on this and we are going to go down to level and say create a packed level actor. All right. Remember, uh, set the center point where you want your pivot point. I just keep mine here. You're going to press OK. It's going to ask you to save it. And the building we were working on was number two, building two. So we will go ahead and I'll just highlight this and then change the number to two. So I don't have to keep typing it. And it's going to ask me to save the blueprint. Go ahead and save that blueprint in my blueprints folder and under my building instances and save. All right, it's gonna do this little thing with the unloading uh, level. All right, and then that uh, BP LISM building template should disappear. There you go. And now you have your building, all right? And then get, remember guys, what I usually do is just delete that version, go to the buildings that I wanna replace and I'll drag one back in. So these are the two buildings. So I'm gonna just drag a copy of my new building two in here just to have a look at it. And boom, you should see your pivot point in the center where it belongs. And if you look, the building should look pretty identical. All right, so that's it. Now I'm gonna delete that building. And remember I was just using that so that I could figure out which buildings uh I, that way i can replace replace it a lot easier by just replacing any building that's using the same uh blueprint all right so we got one two i believe those are the only two versions of that building i don't know what building that is but if i type building two all right we can find every building too. And you're gonna see there's multiples here. We got one there, we got one here, and we got one here, all right? So that's three buildings that are all using that same, uh, that same style of blueprint. All we're gonna do is right click now and then put replace actors with our new building too, all right? Then you should see all those buildings change. And there we go. So now all these should be instanced and you'll see the, the look of the buildings change as well. All right. And you'll see that all these are instanced. All right. So now, um, that's pretty much it guys. I'm going to go ahead and build this and save everything. And, uh, I'll be back on with another, uh, tutorial real soon. I got some updates coming up. I've, uh, added, uh, explosive barrels to, uh, Lyra. So I'll show you guys, uh, how I did that. And I'm still working on some touches. So that'll be coming soon. Um, once again, I want to thank everybody who has subscribed since the last video, man. I thank you guys so much, man. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Um, and, uh, let me know if there's things that you want to see. Like I said, guys, I probably can't do everything, but man, if I get enough requests for a certain thing, I hook it up. All right. 
that's it for me, man. Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games. Like, subscribe, tell a friend. This is what we doing over here. Black Adonis Games. Thank <music> you.